This is a concept that was developed by our friends at Board Riding Maui and we shared it with them. It's amazing because it's probably the first board that was designed for strapless kiteboarding. It's not a surfboard that we use. It was really designed dedicated for strapless kiteboarding. The long parallel rails, the flex and snowboard technology, the almost indestructible construction, it, it all leads to great fun in conditions where you don't really want to use a surfboard, which is a surfboard is designed for surfing. A shinster is designed for strapless kiteboarding. The Shinster is amazingly easy to ride. The long parallel rails give an amazing amount of grip, so it's not slippery at all. And of course, it's designed to ride on the rail. A surfboard is designed to turn when you put it on the rail. So for beginners, it can be very awkward to learn the process of taking it upwind. The Shinster, even if you've never ridden a surfboard, a directional board, or a strapless board before, it's totally intuitive. And when you add into that the flex we engineered into the board, even in harsh chop, it's super easy to ride. It's absolutely not a surfboard, and when the conditions are great, I would certainly be the first one to grab a surfboard. But in smaller onshore waves, even in choppy and flat water if you want to ride strapless, it's a much better option than a surfboard because it's been designed for those conditions. This board wasn't designed as a light wind option, but at 1 meter 60 long and 46 centimeters wide, with long parallel rails and a relatively flat rocker, it has amazing glide and it will work in considerably less wind than a twin tip or a surfboard. This is a very personal decision and you can do whatever you like with it. People that come from a surfing background are probably going to feel more comfortable with waxing the board. If you don't, then put a pad on it. We already offer a dedicated pad for strapless riding, the launch pad. The, your fin choice is very much like the wax or pads debate. It's completely up to you. The board will work with no fins, with 57mm fins, with 80mm fins, how you want. If you want more grip and better carving, go with big fins. If you want a more slippy, slidey, skatey feeling, go without fins. It comes with 57mm fins because that's in the middle, but it's really up to you.